The book of Revelations is essentially about the apocalypse. Many people, though, do not even know what the word apocalypse means. It has nothing to do with ending of the world. The word apocalypse comes from the Greek word apocalypsis, which means uncovering. An uncovering. An op- apocalypse, therefore, means a revealing. It is, it is essentially the revealing of the Christ within. The final battle of Armageddon takes place within us. My most noble and esteemed viewer, the battle takes place within you, within all of humanity. The final battle of Armageddon is within us. This is an inner war that will transform us and bring us back to recovery to the state of Christ consciousness where we are anointed with the title of Christ or Buddha or Krishna. It's all, they're all titles of cosmic consciousness, of cosmic Christ consciousness. The political struggles within the world mirror the transformation of the individual. Just as we individually recover and assume our Christ title, the mantle of Christ, anointed Christ to them, the earth as a whole will recover as, as well as leading to an enlightened civilization. When we transform, apocalypse is about lifting of the veil the veil of revelation. That is what the book of Revelations is about. The lifting of the veil is a gradual process. It doesn't happen overnight. It is a gradual process that has always been happening in your life if you recognize it. It is a gradual disclosure of knowledge. Knowledge. When people misunderstand and think apocalypse is the end times, It stifles motivation to do anything constructive, to make a difference in this world. In fact, the exact opposite takes place. People think it's a free-for-all. Woo-hoo! Let's go crazy! Woo! It's the end of the world! No one's looking! Woo! Motivation. is misdirected. To use force and coerce to get us as many to get as many converts as possible in the end time religion. Woo! Jesus. Religious fear-based trauma, just a continuation. That is what churches are using this apocalypse to do to create more fear. And they don't realize that it is an internal process. Doesn't matter how many times you go to church on Sunday, how many times you scream the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter. Because if you haven't changed inside and accepted the Christ consciousness, then it's just more of the same because this creates problems, it creates wars. These religions that are trying to get as many converts as possible because of the end times. They fill their own self-fueled prophecies. The irony is because religious influence to divert man to destructive actions the world could come to an end for mankind to survive the current state of religion must come to an end a reformation is strongly needed if you agree my dear and esteemed viewer by all means please hit that subscribe button leave this video a thumbs up and stay along for the ride ride this apocalypse out it's all going on within Namaste. Namaskaram.